We watch, watch, watch on the channel nine. We watch, watch, watch on the channel nine. Nine, nine, and nine. All right, it's a uh, craft corner Monday. I know you get excited oh, about yeah, this every week, and Larry's been yeah. joining us. And uh, so let's talk about the difference between knitting and crocheting. Oh yeah. Both techniques use yarn, but knitting tends to be a little more difficult. It uses a pair of long needles to form loops, which move from one needle to the other. Crocheting uses a hook, right. which loops the pieces of yarn together so they're not transferring the stitches from right. one tool to another. It's a little See? easier yeah. maneuver. Uh, it's also much easier to pick up than knitting, they say. And crafting experts often recommend starting with crocheting before you move on to knitting. You know, you got you got to walk before you can yeah. run, Larry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, there you go. You still right. have that knitting club? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. We got to change the name, change the name to the yeah. old knit and itch. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. of new ownership. Yeah. Uh, their lack of uh, well. confidence in us uh -huh. and our judgment. Uh, anyhow, uh, number eight, uh, children of the 70s and 80s might remember this toy, fashion plates for the fashionable young lady. Fashion plates. Fashionable young ladies can now create fashions with Ooh, fashion plates. I get this. Yeah, tops, these? bottoms, and hairstyles. Fashion plates. You can give them any color you want and even choose different textures. You can make hundreds of fashionable combinations. It's got all those fashionable traits, and they call it fashion plates. Well, that looks fashion like plates that. comes with 15 different plates and eight coloring pencils. Wow. Eight not fun. Included. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can still buy an original set on eBay or Amazon. Plus, there are newer versions that you can get for like thirty dollars. Oh, wow. what a oh, deal! Uh, number seven, forget about those early morning workouts. Try doing it in the middle of the day instead. According to a new study from exercise scientists, people who worked out in the middle of the day lower their risk of an early death more than people who Jeez. exercise in the morning or the evening. <laughs> By midday, we're talking about uh, the hours of 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Right. Read more about it in the journal Nature Communication. Well, you're not saying that people are going to die working out in the morning or the evening, well, are they? No, I'm not they saying they're not. Night. Someone's going to die one morning. I, I mean, are we better off just not working out then than risking it? If, if, if you know, well, I know you want to another study yes. that will come out that will say the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, if this picture doesn't uh, tell you what a diva Ricky Gervais is, then nothing ever will. He posted this picture on Twitter the other day. It's a bottle of wine, a banana, some salted peanuts, and heartburn medication. <laughs> Gervais is on the road doing stand up as part of his Armageddon tour. These were the items he demanded to have in his dressing room as part of his contract rider. He posted the picture on Twitter saying, when you're an international comedy megastar, it is inevitable that your backstage rider is ridiculously luxurious. Sometimes your demands are a test to see if you are still important to the promoter. A show of power, hashtag Armageddon. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, Trevento is a wine with a screw top. It's about 10 bucks at your local grocery oh. store. Yeah, don't sleep on the screw top wine bottle. That's a, that, it's yeah. really. Uh, saves time. It saves time. Yeah. But you know what? I have trouble twisting now with oh my, my I don't God. know why. It's a real Perfect. problem. Oh, though. boy. Gosh. Here we go. Well, it's gonna make it hard for you to hold on to that walker. <laughs> your, your hands on it just say that kids it's hard to turn. I don't know if anyone yeah. else has trouble mm -hmm. with it. Oh, I'm sure someone yeah. will text us right now and confirm <laughs> that. All right, number five. We all know dating can be rough, but a dating coach is revealing the two types of guys to absolutely avoid. You want to steer clear of the player and the perpetual bachelor. They seem like the same thing, but they are. Uh, there are some key differences. A player is typically charismatic and confident. In the expert's words, he's looking to hit it and quit it. Oh, maybe you can explain that to me. <laughs> we well, used to have that T-shirt, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> but the perpetual bachelor, they're usually successful and have never been married. And a good way to rule them out is to ask them about marriage. They'll probably say something like, maybe sometime in the future if I find the right girl. And they'll never find the right girl, ladies. Follow this rule. You can't fix them, so nix them. Uh, just avoid it at all costs. Yeah. So there you are. You're welcome. All right, number four. This might be the best invention we've seen in a while. A snack dispenser designed to keep your fingers from getting sticky. 
It's like $11.99 on uh, Amazon. You fill it with nuts, Skittles, candy, goldfish, crackers, whatever. You just hit the little button at the top and then boom, straight into your mouth. Wow. Look at that, see? Look at mm. that. It's called the Nuts Flowy? <laughs> I didn't say that. That's what it says on the screen there. It called oh. it a nuts flow. Oh, I didn't read it. Huh. Look at that. Yeah, that dirty finger is really yeah, And the cheese, a... especially when it's the Cheetos, they get you every sure, time. Yeah. Sure. Look at mm. that. Wow. Number three, some of the props from everything, everywhere, all at once are going up for auction, including the iconic hot dog hands. The movie company A24 is auctioning off the props and memorabilia with proceeds going to several charities. Other items will include costumes. You can find it online, and you have until March 2nd to bid. Huh. Uh, number two, Madonna's Ray of Light is 25 years old. She lovely. Of course, it seems normal there. This is great. It was surprising because it was another reinvention. And yeah. now the chorus is going to kick in here and it, All right. it gets you. All right. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, so apparently the original version of this song was 10 minutes long. Uh, Madonna eventually cut it down to 5 minutes, 21 seconds. That's oh, still long. That is still a long yeah. song, yeah. Mm. All right, number one reminds us of that time that Peter sang his version of the Madonna song after having Red Bull for the first time. That is the nine and nine. <laughs> 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 